King Tut's death has puzzled experts for decades. Was he the victim of a sinister plot or did a tragic accident cut his reign short? Join us as we dive into the thrilling mystery and uncover what really happened to the young pharaoh. The truth might shock you. Welcome back to Epic Explorer with another knowledge pack video. When it comes to child kings, King Tut is the most famous of them all. Born around 1343 BCE, Tutankhamun became Egypt's most well-known pharaoh when he was just nine years old. Although he only ruled for a short 10 years, his story still fascinates people today. Why? Well, it's not just because he was so young. There are tons of mysteries surrounding his reign and of course, the discovery of his tomb in the early 1900s. When archaeologists found his tomb, it was like uncovering a treasure trove that had been hidden for centuries. But even with all that, one question remains, how did King Tut die? Was it an illness, an accident, or something more sinister? People have been guessing for years, but the truth is still up in the air. King Tut's life and death continue to be one of history's most intriguing puzzles. His legacy lives on, not just as a young king, but as a mystery that has yet to be fully solved. Tut, the son of Pharaoh Akhenaten, wasn't disliked by the people. His dad, Akhenaten, had stirred up a lot of trouble by forcing everyone to worship the sun god Aten and moving the main religious center from Thebes to Amarna. This upset many of his subjects, but when Tut took the throne, he started undoing his father's changes. With some help from his uncle Ai, Tut began to bring things back to the way they were before. He returned the worship of old gods and shifted the religious focus back to Thebes. These moves made people think that Tut was a smart ruler and they believed he'd grow into a strong leader as he got older. Even though he was young, Tut's actions showed he understood the importance of keeping the people happy and maintaining the traditions they valued. His ability to reverse his father's unpopular decisions gave his subjects hope that he could become a great pharaoh one day. Tut was seen as a capable young king who had the potential to rule well, thanks to his willingness to learn and listen to those around him. In 1324 BCE, Tut's life ended suddenly and no one really knows why. What we do know is that he wasn't in great health. He had malaria, which was already tough to deal with. On top of that, because of possible inbreeding, his parents might have been related, Tut was born with a cleft palate and a club foot. His club foot made it hard for him to get around which is why he is often shown sitting down in Egyptian art. Tut's physical struggles and his early death have left historians wondering what really happened. Was it his poor health that did him in, or was there something more mysterious at play? The sudden end of this young pharaoh's life has sparked countless theories, but the true cause remains a mystery. What really happened to King Tut? It's a question that continues to puzzle historians to this day. When King Tut's tomb was discovered near Luxor, Egypt by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922, it set off a storm of suspicion and curiosity. For years, experts studied the tomb and examined Tut's remains, but it wasn't until 1968 that things got really interesting. That's when scholars performed an X-ray of Tut's body and found bone fragments in his head. This discovery led to wild theories that Tut might have been murdered. Some believe that the fractured bone was evidence of a violent attack. Could his uncle A have had ambitions beyond just being an advisor and decided to take matters into his own hands, literally? Maybe he saw the young pharaoh as an obstacle to his own power and decided to eliminate him. Others wondered if Tut's wife, Ankesenamun, who might have also been his sister, was behind the plot. Perhaps she had her own reasons for wanting Tut out of the picture. These theories added even more mystery to Tut's already fascinating story. While we may never know for sure what happened to King Tut, the discovery of those bone fragments has kept the debate alive, making his death one of history's most sensational unsolved mysteries. In 2006, the mystery surrounding King Tut's death took a surprising turn. For years, people believed that the bone fragments found in his head during a 1968 X-ray were proof he might have been murdered. 
but when a team of radiologists and scientists performed a CT scan on his body in 2006, they discovered something unexpected. The so-called skull injury wasn't an injury at all. Instead, the fragments turned out to be pieces of vertebrae that had somehow ended up near his head. The kicker, these fragments didn't have any solidified embalming material on them, meaning they likely moved after Tut had already been mummified. This suggested that the fragments were probably dislodged long after his death, possibly due to mishandling by Carter's team during the tomb's discovery. So the dramatic murder theory that had captured everyone's imagination was cast aside. Instead of being evidence of a violent death, those bone fragments were more likely the result of an unfortunate accident during the excavation. While this revelation cleared up one mystery, it also left us with another question. If Tut wasn't murdered, then what really caused his death? The search for answers continues, but this twist shows how even the most sensational theories can be turned upside down by new discoveries. So if King Tut wasn't murdered, then how did he die? The most likely answer comes from the 2006 scan of his remains, which revealed a serious injury, a fractured femur. This wasn't just any injury, it happened while Tut was still alive. We know this because embalming resin was found over the edges of the broken bones, meaning the injury occurred before he was mummified. The fracture was bad enough on its own, but it probably got worse. Experts believe the injury might have become infected, turning gangrenous, a serious life-threatening infection that could easily have taken Tut's life. So instead of a dramatic murder plot, it seems that a tragic accident or injury might have led to the young pharaoh's untimely death. While not as sensational as some of the murder theories, this explanation fits with what we know about his physical condition. In the end, it may have been this simple yet devastating injury that ended the reign of one of history's most famous child kings. The mystery of King Tut's death may never be fully solved, but this theory gives us a more grounded and believable cause behind the early demise of the boy who became one of Egypt's most iconic figures. The cause of King Tut's leg break is still a mystery, sparking plenty of speculation. One popular theory is that he might have been injured in a chariot race. Imagine this, Tut speeding through a race, only to crash and suffer a devastating injury. Inside his tomb, Egyptian art shows him in chariot sprints, but it's unclear if those scenes reflect real events or just idealized images of the young pharaoh. Another possibility is that Tut, who already had a club foot, might have tripped or had some other kind of accident. His condition would have made him more prone to falls and combined with his already weakened state from malaria, even a minor accident could have turned fatal. Whether it was a dramatic chariot crash or a simple trip, it's clear that this injury played a major role in Tut's early death. His body was already battling illness, so any severe injury could have easily pushed him over the edge. The true story behind Tut's fatal injury remains a puzzle, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the life and death of Egypt's most famous boy king. Nobody really knows what caused King Tut's death for sure. The true story behind his demise remains a big mystery, with no clear answers in sight. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing our channel. Support us for more epic content.